going on guys? It's time for another Z video. Today's just gonna be a simple one. We're just gonna pretty much do an oil change and possibly a transmission fluid change if I can find uh, the gear oil for it that I wanna use locally. Normally, a lot of shops don't hold it in stock, so I have to order it. But uh, if I can find it, we'll go ahead and get on that. Now, to head to the cheapest place you can actually find oil, which is Home Depot. A lot of people don't know that, but Home Depot sells oil for cheaper than you would get it at an auto parts store or Walmart or whatever. So we're gonna go to Home Depot, get the oil for the car and a filter, and then uh, start changing some fluid. Today what I've decided to use is the Rotella T6, which I used on my Speed 3. A reason why I decided to use the diesel oil again is because of the additives and the, the detergent that's in here, especially the zinc. It also helps get all the deposits outside of the turbocharger and everything. And one thing I've learned is most auto shops do not hold KNN or Mobile One filters for this car. So I went with the STP, which isn't the worst oil filter, but it's not necessarily the greatest flow for thicker oil that like the T6. So uh, definitely gonna have to change this out. Next oil change at 3,000. Not gonna be able to hold on to it for much longer. So like always, first step you always do when you do an oil change, make sure to remove the oil cap. Is it loose? Yep. How long has it been since you had oil run down your arm, Jeff? Uh, since the last time I changed the oil on the Speed 3. Oh. So, probably like four or five months. So now the next thing to do is lower the car back to ground level to have it flat. Uh, normally these calls, these cars call for between 3.8 to 4.1 quarts of oil, but this one having the bigger turbochargers and the upgraded uh, oil cooler in the front, I'm not sure how many quarts it'll take. So this is kind of going to be a test run here to see how many it takes. But uh, usually I'd say no more than five quarts. So let's go ahead and see how much it takes. So being the genius that I am, I forgot to bring a funnel with me. And uh, my dad back here just grabbed this bottle of from uh, TSP and he's cutting it right now to make a funnel out of it. But uh, it threads perfectly into the oil filler cap. Or not the oil filler cap, but the, the oil filler. It's like it was meant to be. So I'm gonna save this for future oil changes because that's just too convenient. Check this out, watch this. How ridiculous is that? Tell me the chances of that ever happening. Okay, so we just put in pretty much the whole container of Rotella T6. 
and it's just right there on the tip, so we're about like a quart low of oil. So let's add another quart real quick. So with the aftermarket oil cooler and turbocharger, it equates to about five quarts of oil, which is about the same as the Speed 3. So uh, now I know that both cars will take roughly five quarts of oil and we're good to go. So now we're just gonna warm up the car. And one thing that happened with the car when I first got it is you'd hear a whooshing noise from coolant going through the dashboard, going through the heater core. And uh, the car was just a little low on coolant. So we go ahead and top that off. But uh, we're just gonna run the car now, let it come up to temperature and uh, make sure that both the oil when it's at temp and the coolant are both topped off and good to go. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So while I was under the car changing the oil, I noticed that the uh, filter for the intake is a little dirty. Now this car does have the Jim Wolf Technology uh, pop charger on it. So what we need to do is take off the nose plate, which is just held on by two screws, and I'm gonna take off the filter and check it out. So here's the first screw. They're right located right next to the headlights. So here's the left one, and the right one is right here. Okay, so here's the filter. It's a little dirty. There's actually has some damage right here. Uh, I'm not sure why there's that damage right there, but there's holes in it. Uh, also, if you look real closely here, let me refocus this camera. That the leather, not the leather, this rubber right here has a bunch of cracks in it. So um, I think it's time to get a new cone pot filter here. Uh, we'll see, I'll run by a parts store here when I go to drop off the oil. See if we can pick up a new one of these. So once again, just like everything else for this car, the auto parts stores did not have the filter I needed for this car. So I'll just order a new one on the internet. So no harm, no foul. But one thing did come for the car that I wanted to get because this car is actually gonna be outside most of the time. I wanted to protect it more from the elements and stuff. So I did get the car cover, which is right in this bag right here. So let's go ahead and open it up and make sure it fits the car because it was supposed to be specific for the 300ZX. And just like that, the Z is covered. Definitely gonna have to get some straps and slide underneath it to uh, hold it down because as you can see, just the barely any bit of wind will get it up and maybe blow it off the car. But uh, we'll work out all the small details later. Now a lot of you guys have been sliding into my DMs on Instagram asking, what about the Speed 3? Do I still have the Speed 3? What are my plans with the Speed 3? And the answer is yes. As you can see right here, I still have the Speed 3. Uh, as far as I'm concerned right now, the Speed 3 is done as a daily driver. Uh, any of the next steps that I would take with the car would take away its drivability. And I already think that this car is the perfect daily driver. It's already you know a boosted grocery getter. So, uh, and I want it to remain that way. I don't want to make it a track car or anything like that. I enjoy driving the car. It's my daily driver. I drive it every single day. So uh, it's good as is. So right now the Z will be the main focus of the channel. But who's to say, once we we'll do things with the Speed 3, I still want to get a carbon fiber hood. I still want to get a little, nice little carbon fiber lip right here on the spoiler. You know, there's still a bunch of things to do to the, the Speed 3, which is still going to happen. But, uh, you know, project car on the side, so no harm, no foul. And if you guys want to see something sad, come with me over here real quick. Come over here. You guys all remember nacho cheese? Well, someone decided to hit nacho cheese right here. Luckily, it's not bad. That right there can come out with some rubbing compound. This right here can be sanded down. Good thing we didn't paint the bumper or wrap it or anything. But someone definitely came in this angle, hit the tire right here and the wheel, scratched up right here, right here, and it's not perfectly aligned anymore right here. So, that's never a fun thing. But this is what we're gonna call today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up and consider uh, subscribing to the channel. It always helps me out and in turn makes more giveaways, makes more things for you guys to win. So, uh, we'll leave you guys with this note. People like hitting cars that are parked outside. Take care, and don't forget, together to the top.